Hi everybody. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to shorten your pants um, by the means of a design detail. It's not, I don't, you don't need scissors, you don't need a ruler, you don't need uh, chalk. Up until now, most of what I've taught you to do are things that I've been taught to do when I worked in a high-end men's store in South Carolina. Now I'm showing you something um, that is more instinctual to me and how I do my own alterations. Um, I've done this type of thing for my clients. If this is what they want, I'll explain it to them. They'll say yes or they'll say no. But this is how I tend to do things just naturally. Um, this is not going to work for slacks. It is not going to work for anything like that. Probably more on denim, just like I'm doing. The recording is different because um, it was a last minute like, oh, I think I'll record this since I'm going to do it. My sister bought me a pair of jeans at a thrift store and there was some fraying at the back and I wanted to keep them that way. I like my jeans to be wide at the foot and kind of puddle around my foot if that makes any sense i don't i like to have breaks in the bottom or it to cover my uh, most of my shoe just my personal taste um so this is what this video is about again you don't need scissors you don't need a ruler you don't need chalk you just need a sewing machine and if you're really really good at hand sewing you can do your hand sewing too so i hope you like this video Okay, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to, to shorten these pants without having to remove the hem. Um, you know, you could cut this off and re-hem them, but I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to shorten the pants without um, cutting them and without um, removing that torn part. I like the bottom of my pants. To kind of puddle around my feet so I don't want to take off any of the width um, but this is how I have figured out how to shorten them without having to cut anything off and um, I'm not going to uh, mark anything like I normally do when I'm doing work for other people I will mark it but this is for myself and I tend to do things a little differently when I'm sewing for myself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up and I'm going to align. You can see the little, you could feel a little ridge here. You can see it too. I'm going to align that with this edge of my presser foot. And I'm going to um, fold this under just to where my needle is going to um, sew right there next to the fold. And this is called a pin tuck. And because I'm using this edge, this little ridge right here as a guide, I don't need to mark anything. So I'm going to do, be doing the whole thing like that. So I'm going to start here where it's frayed and I'm going to sew all the way around. And what happens is this ends up being um, more of a design detail. So you're shortening your pants, but it's a... Uh, it's going to look more like a, a design. So you can make this, these pin tucks as small or as large as you want. Um, if your pants are very tapered, you know, from they, they're thinner at the knee and they go out at the hem, you're going to have to do small pin tucks because um, obviously the higher up you go, on the leg, the smaller the width. So you can't do too much or there's gonna be um, puckering. So this is how I'm doing it.
Okay, so here's the first one. And that's what it's going to look like. This is, um, I had these in here before, um, but for the purposes of this video, I removed them. But I actually like this length of um, pin tuck. Um, the other ones were much smaller, but the smaller the pin tucks, the more you're going to have to put on. And if you like a lot of them, then go ahead. But if you want just a couple, um, or maybe four or five, then you can just do it like this. Now what you're going to do is fold this up again and you're going to back you're going to go back over it and you'll just align I'm sorry you'll just align your presser foot against this first um, seam that you created this first pin tuck and then make sure that your needle goes in here where you want it to create the length uh, pin tuck that you want. Okay, now you can see I'm above the frayed edge, so I can um, run this stitch all the way around and overlap it with where I began. Okay, so there's the second one. And once you're finished, you can press all of these down. So just keep doing this um, until you get the length that you want. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, not only learned something, but maybe it triggered an idea for something else for you to do. Um, I don't only want to teach you how to sew, but I want to trigger new ideas in you. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you. Bye.